Oh, yes. That is very significant here. Uh, destroyed. Destroyed the first legion and the first Ale legion. The effectiveness of the cavalry is minimal here. Got two Velites and one Jav Cav. And I didn't lose anything here. So this is uh, this is very good, good result, and Flaminius is dead. But this was a two uh, attack value two leader, so maybe that's why the Roman units on Field of Glory two got some perks. But he is dead, which is very good. That means he's going to have to be replaced. And if we we know the Romans have a large pool of leaders, but if we just keep on killing them, they're eventually just going to have very very poor leaders to face our great chiefs. So, let the AI continue to turn. All right, we got messages. Boys is boys is actually a form of cooperation, sure. And yeah, <laughs> oh, of course I have a plague that figures, but I mean it was a good. Ch I am attempting to build a Borvo shrine. which is healthcare, so hopefully that will help a lot. And now what I want to do is, is uh, I'm going to save this here, and then I'm gonna, we're going to go back and redo this battle that I just fought, but using uh, the Field of Glory Empire's battle system and see uh, what the result would have been and make a comparison. Now remember, I annihilated two Roman legions and a few, but I did not lose any units here. So let's go back to this here. And let's go back to the turn uh, just before the battle. And now here's the battle between Rome and the Sinonis again. But instead of exporting the battle as I did, we're going to see what the result of the battle would have been. And this is the Field of Glory 2 system. Uh, since it's in a flat plane, it's going to cover complete frontage here. Uh, since the Sononas also have urban militia. And I have one extra here for some flanking movement. So first comes the range phase. I get to pretty much even, just I think the Romans did slightly better. And now comes one-on-one -on -one combat with die rolls. And see, the, the Roman here has X, three extra die rolls, and whatever best number comes wins. So die roll-wise, the Romans have an advantage. I mean, look at because of Flaminius. And possibly what Flaminius does in the Field of Glory, too, is because he has a better attack. He's, he was the attacker, and he has a better attack range. Possibly my units may be below average or slightly demoralized. That may explain it, but I'll see that later on. All right, now it comes to the combat phase. Stalemate, stalemate. Evading skirmisher. Oh, I got killed there. Chariot. Got a uh, cavalry. Got that one, and I'm probably going to win the flank attack. Okay, pursued. Uh, Sonona's do win. Okay, Sonona's won the battle. 
All right, so the difference is I lost two units. I lost the warrior unit and the chariot unit, and I do like my anything mobi with mobility. I do like uh, some of the units got weakened here. Uh, my cavalry here got heavily weakened. Uh, the only thing I destroyed was the Roman cavalry and a bunch of uh, velites and their light cavalry, but the legions, even though damaged, still survive. And of course, Flaminia still lives. So I would say the end result, the end result is much better in the field of glory too. And this is going to be the same. So let's go back to the real game here. So. Except I don't have a plague here, so I, I don't know. I guess by losing some extra men or something, I avoided a plague, but... And, and the Romans have more units here because they still have their legions, their infantry legions, and Flaminius, and they can go into the fortress here and possibly recoup. But, so that's the difference. Uh, I like my Field of Glory 2 result much more. So let's go back to the game. I do have a plague and uh, the heavy infantry of the Roman army. Uh, two of them have been destroyed. Now the thing I was complaining about is uh, not having skirmishers. So I'm going to take care of that. And I think it says I gained one slave. So I can put a citizen. Wow, the usurer here, I don't like. I'll keep that because the money is good for now, but as far as decadence goes, that's not good. There's no upkeep, but I don't like central banks and they do cause decadence. Okay, and I do have the building along the way here. But let's take a look at the ledger. I did get an extra slave. Population-wise, yeah, I gained one here, I believe. Yeah, one slave was gained, I think. And I have uh, culture. And the food income is 16, I guess. That's still good to store food. I'll leave that alone. I'm going to try to get more people later on. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to recruit some skirmishers. As far as skirmishers go, let's build some more cavalry skirmishers. That should be good. And they can, they can join. I mean, they're not good at assaulting anything, but they are good in battle. And just picking off uh, the other skirmishers, I think they're a lot better. Can another warrior, possibly. I do have to watch out here. Food usage is six. Okay, forage value is seven. So I have to be careful. I do want to, I think, I believe that if I go into a foreign nation, I want my food usage to be equivalent to the full forage value. And I, th I think I can successfully besiege. I think, I think that's how it works. I don't think they'll starve if the forage value is equal to or less than the value of the province they're besieging. So, so let's just build these three guys. And over here, let's just build a warrior just to 
Okay, so I'm really, like I said, I'm learning this game here. And I think uh, strategically, I don't have time to wait for another Roman attack. I want to attack immediately this Roman province since the Romans are weak. And if I can capture this city, uh, then my troops can rest there behind a walled city and absorb anything the Romans throw against me. And plus, uh, my capital here will be won't be bordering Rome, the Roman territory, but Etruscia Dredge offer. So let's go in here. March in here, and I think that's everything that I'm going to do this turn. Now I have to make sure Okay, I haven't suffered any decadence or anything. I guess the plague is over. Okay, now I'm down to two turns. All right, the Borrower Shrine is gone. Let's take a look at the ledger. All right, infras okay, it is accumulating the infrastructure. So I guess next uh, two turns it will be... 30, 45, 55. All right, then next two turns it will be built. Okay, so it is doing that good. And uh, my decadence and all that, that's not happening. Now let's see what happened here. Our ruler summons is in Eclanus is our new objective. So I guess I'm supposed to exert dominance over the Celtic people and unite them because it's culturally light. But I got a big bully threatening me called Rome So and possibly the uh, Etruscans. But All right, I need a leader. Okay, is this army going to be enough? I'm not sure a siege is going to work here. So, uh, this is difficult. There's some tough choices you got to make here. Uh, the siege will be quick. Population 8, unbreached walls, garrison, power of 18. I don't know what kind of garrison they have, but if I can get into that city. Okay, forage value is seven. Food use is six. Now the Etruscans have an army too. What is my objective again? Clanis. Okay, it's not the Cal. It's a, it's an Etruscan city. There's Clanis right there. So, but you know, my goal is to plunder Rome. I don't know what Rome is doing. Is it moving south or? But they are building. Okay, they've retreated. There's a Portius. He has an offense rating of one, one. So it's. But they are building light cavalry. They are building. Hmm. So they're building light units. And. Planis. Or I capture some Etruscan territory, but even if I capture uh, this province, uh, the Roman province, that's probably going to cause some decadence, but capturing an objective here is not going to do that. But I don't want to... I don't want to start a war. I need to defeat the Romans. That's the most important thing right now. So a siege, it says besiege plus six siege will be quick. So I don't know what that means. 
what is quick, uh, one year, two years, three years, or an immediate assault would be successful. Not sure about that, but I'll, well, I may attempt a assault here. If that, then I can win that province immediately, and that will weaken the Romans. They'll be down to two. And then they're gonna they're gonna have to send armies, and I can probably defeat them in this hilly terrain here. I may have an advantage because uh, the Roman legions are not gonna do well. They were far superior in uh, Picanum with the plains, so I do have a slight population. Okay, my money is a little bit low, so that means I can't be building any more units. All right, so I'll have to see make a decision here. Next few months will be particularly harsh for men and crops. Well, that's not good news. Let's see, I'm going to besiege right now, so let's just uh, wait another turn. Maybe the city will lose or something like that. Okay, we have found a new ally. Yes, let's. It's nice to have allies. Okay, unbreached walls, one of two. The enemy power is short. What? Sonona's army won. Sonona's Army 2. Okay, it is Sonona's Army 1. And I have three cavalry units. Okay, the warriors here, they have replenished. So see, food use is just 7. Forage value 7. So these guys can feed themselves. I got a perfect army right here. So Okay, so this is very important to understand. Uh, for siege purposes, try not to exceed the forage value. Or else you're going to be starving. Unless you're going to be marching in quickly and just assaulting the city. And the first thing that goes are your cavalry units because your guys eat horses. So like I said, I can't put any more here. Like a Latium also has a forge value of 7, so you got to be careful here. But the Romans are building a massive army. So I may be in a good position to assault the city right now. I don't want to lose anything, but let's see the Roman value. It's unbreached walls one or two, but my God, they're just creating legions like crazy. And they have elite they, the skirmish units. They do have cavalry. I have good cavalry too. Well, not as starred as they are, but I don't know the Etruscans. They're it's basically wants me to go to war with the Etruscans, but let's see if Rome. But this is. All right, my money is at zero. My building, let's take a look at the building ledger. Okay, the Borbo Shrine will be ready. What am I doing here? One turn, I'll have a Borbo Shrine, so it'll be clearer. Then I can build other things. A Celtic citizen, let's see, region, population, food I'm storing up very much, very well. So I think I can move one of the Celt Italic citizens possibly to money, and now I have plus three, because I got plenty of slaves working the fields here. So I got plus 13 and still plus three up here. The difference is, is
Okay, skirmishers is what worries me most. It's two Welitas. Oh, they got a huge army. Oh my god. Legion. Well, that's a decision to make right now so let's go look at all our diplomacy because uh, in this game I notice if they make an offer and you just hit a check mark that doesn't do it you actually have to go to the country okay Celtic is asking for alliance agree yes I absolutely want an alliance with my Celtic brothers in the north go to the boy the boy asking for a form of cooperation absolutely like I said if I can get an alliance with the I got Celtic -y. they own two pro uh, two regions here I don't know about these other guys here but if I can get an alliance with two other Celt uh, with the boy also that's going to give me some power and maybe with the Semnites I can get something going here Let's get cooperation, maybe. Let's just try. They may reject it, but then they may, the AI may just turn around and say, hey, would you like a cooperation or alliance? Uh, sure, let's go with Tarentum also. So I guess all these uh, Celtic tribes here were absolutely impressed that I beat the tar out of Rome, and they want to join now, so let's get another victory now the problem is I'm not gonna assault the city because Rome is gathering a huge army here they got two regions where they can build and they're popping out legions and everything so the best thing for me to do is to withdraw and I'm gonna build some more units it's gonna cost some manpower but if the Romans are stupid enough to take their army and once again invade Pekinum uh, my home region, there could be a big, big uh, battle again that I could win using the Field of Glory 2 thing. So this is going to be what I intend to do. And I think the effects of the siege, you know, the breaching of the wall and all of this may take a few years, you know, to recover. So even if I crush a Roman army and then come back, I may still be able to assault in the same condition. That's one of what I've been seeing in this game takes a while for an area to recover but smart thing for Rome would be is to march here and just stay put but another thing I noticed let's go to diplomacy uh, the Etruski are at war with Rome and uh, I know they don't like me I mean, they're the same culture as Rome, so why should they? And also because there's two objectives in their area. But see, I would really love to just crush the Romans, possibly take one of their provinces here, and then maybe bring them to the peace table. And then I can take my two provinces here. Well, even, I don't even have to take anything here, just bring them to the peace table. Where then I can take my two objectives here, and uh, objectives are not going to be uh, not going to penalize me for decadence, and plus my empire and my strength will grow, and then eventually, I mean, the plundering of Rome is not something that has to happen immediately. Uh, it can happen over. If I gain, well, if I gain the province here, then I'm going to have a big advantage, and then if the Romans once the Romans declare war again then I may have a chance of achieving victory, but uh, just taking this one here would be good. I don't want Rome to just, you know, make peace and relax and just go conquer everything else. I mean, if there's a chance for me to take him out, that definitely, you know, regardless of decadence, it's important to take him out, especially if the Samnites, Samnites and Tarentum also join. They could put pressure on Capua, Annapolis here, this area here, Campania, 
while I put pressure on Rome. But, I mean, I'm just... I mean, this is... See what one victory did. I just wonder what another victory can do. If I win another victory and kill another consul or general here... So, I am going to pull out. Going back home with the army. And it's not a bad army. I mean, they're doing okay. Just wish they had more stars. I mean, when you recruit them, they get their stars. But let's go back home. Uh, let's bring this unit in. And let's look at construction. Of course, I need to look. I got two skirmishes here. I, that's what I want. I want horse. I want skirmishers. But it would not hurt to. It is going to cost money and manpower to upkeep. I don't know, that may be a bit too much, but I can always disband. If it's gay, if it's costing me a lot, I can always disband. But I do have the equipment available, so, and even with the manpower, well, I'm just gonna have to just sit, sit out and just, you know, do the best I can with the army. And it's still under my commander, uh, Helvetics. So I'm getting the heck out, and uh, I got one turn where this building is going to be built, the Borvo Shrine. Okay, it is stockpiling while it's building, infrastructure upkeep 21%, so it's doing that. Uh, let's look at the ledger, region's population, okay, I got the food. Growth in nine turns, growth in 23 turns. Revolt risk, there is none. It's only loyalty. Okay, loyalty is a problem. 59%. I don't know what that means, maybe because my leader is just... He's excellent. Yeah, that, I need him. I got an ambusher here. Very good. So I am getting other leaders available if I need to build other armies. And uh, I don't the legacy chart. I'm not. I'm really not in a running for anything. Antigonid, Sparta, Carthage. way down at the bottom, I bet. But Rome has the minus 92 legacy points. <laughs> okay. I don't know how that works. I, I guess a defeat like that just did it. I, I don't know how this works. I guess you get crushed like that. How can you be negative? That's... Um, that, that's... Rome is way at the bottom on legacy, so I don't know what that may, may, means. But I mean, I'm Samnium. I have eight legacy points. Let's look at this here. Yeah, Sinonis, I'm up there. Eight. Antigonus have, yeah, 36, but Sparta's 25, Ptolemy's. I mean, I'm doing good. I, I don't know how Rome gets negative. Maybe that's just. All right, now let's look at this here. Uh, my nation is a. Yeah, I'm way at the bottom. Tribal Horde, I'm 77th. 
I'm a total crap nation as far as uh, leg uh, administration is, but it may change because uh, stable tribal horde. Oh well. But that may change. Like I said, that may change here. So I don't understand this. Okay. okay, regions. I'm still producing 13 food and three food. Loyalty is an issue, but it's probably because of slaves. I'm not sure how this works. Celtic citizen, Celtic citizen, Italic slave. Yeah, I have three to two slaves and citizens, but maybe I need to build something here just to... So I do have 14 infrastructure. I mean, I should have probably started building something right off the bat, you know, instead of doing nothing because I don't understand how this thing exactly works. So I think I need to build something in this area too. Um, okay, weapons depot. Bonus equipment, uh, slave market, that increases decadence. Uh, a gambling, a casino here, gambling ring or a casino. Wow, yeah, that's, that's what I need. More decadence. Uh, public works. Okay, movement bonus. And Borvo Shrine. Okay, you get more infrastructure. So I guess, uh, once again, health is very important. And it's probably going to help the increase of the population. And then the available salt, salt, clean water, sanitation, swamp draining, herbalist. Uh, yeah, let's build that. And Bulwer Shrine in one turn, I can upgrade and build something else. So yeah, let, let, let's get these uh, clean water in all these regions here. But like I said, if I become a province, then I don't need it. They kind of like work everywhere. If I have it in one, then it's good in the other. So let's take a look at that again. But am I even going to have a province? That's another question. Okay, bonus of food I do have. Ah, uh, track. Weapons depot. Bonus of 10 equipment. weapons I don't have that resource here ah uh, farm uh, let's just go with the shrine here to, I mean with the clean water just so I don't have any epidemics I mean the Etruscans here may have some nice feature nice things in their city like solo crafter district theater and then some cultural levels I don't know what this has marble quarry now this is a, a nice feature solid walls they got all that if I take all these cities I may not even need all these extra things here so yeah this is this is a learning process I don't know I've recruited a lot of men here and I'm moving back to my province I know the Romans I mean in the first battle it was just a SWAT team with ATF coming in and I crushed them but now they're coming in with full force I mean they've been they're very upset so hopefully let's lure them, hopefully I can lure them back to the home province here. Yeah, they're very efficient with their combat power. All right, I'm going to build more men, so let's see what this will bring. Combat power of 
82. Oh my. 18 units. I do have 26 units, though. I'm going to have an advantage, but I just have a slight combat power advantage. So this is definitely a Field of Glory 2 export battle. And like I said, this is still considered under siege while well, it's still the same year, so. And who am I fighting? I'm Helvetics. See, now uh, there's a General Porcius. He only has one one. He's even, but my general has uh, better advantages. Yeah, but the nice thing is, is I have a lot of missile cavalry. And all my forces have gathered here, so. Okay, the walls have been breached. The walls have been breached and then I pulled out, so this is, if I defeat this Roman army here, I can possibly, and, and don't suffer too many casualties, I can possibly come and take this area, because I don't think Rome has much to counterattack me with, and then, We'll see who's boss. Maybe the Etruscans will get brave enough to attack. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna export this to Field of Glory 2, and it's battle time. All right, this is an import at the battle result, and what a crushing victory. I did lose one Jav Cav, unfortunately. But look at my army. It's really... Oh, and I killed Porcius, too. <laughs> so there's two Roman generals I have killed, and their legions have been completely destroyed, almost. A couple Ale left allied, but... Look at 1st Legion, 4th Legion, 2nd Legion, 3rd Legion. Annihilated! And I, I set a nice trap. I mean, I li my cavalry just was so superior, it just annihilated the Roman cavalry. And then I got behind them, and as the Roman infantry advanced, I was able to uh, do some flanking and rear charges, and I lost very few, like 1,200. But this is incredible. I'm very satisfied with this result here, which in this game system here, I would have never gotten anything close to that. I would have lost some key units, but this is an incredible victory. Let's see what else happens. My manpower is down. I can't afford to recruit any more units, but I may be able to launch a counterattack. Sinonis and KK, okay, we're now formally allied. And that's good. And, well, my manpower, I can't... Rec okay, my money thing, I may have to do something about that, but... Let's see, did I get slaves? Okay, Sinonis are boring are sharing information, easing their trade and cooperating on other aspects. Uh, after some delay, Kelty alliance with Sinonis led both to a war against Rome. Awesome! So they're going to be marching their armies, which is good, too. Bover Shrine has been completed in Picanum. And while besieging Clusium, Sinona's inflicted a lot of casualties. Okay, so I guess it's because I, I was still besieging. Uh, moved out. Got chased by the Roman army. And then, once again, okay, unbreached walls one and two. So I can probably... Food usage seven. I could probably invade. Unless the Romans just produced another one, I can probably attack them and may I may have a chance of assaulting this thing. Let's look at the Roman. Okay, this is the remnants of the army completely uh, damaged. Uh, the garrison is not that strong either. Uh, so, I don't know what's going on. What, what's this dove thing? Okay, we're sharing. So, I think 
I'm very happy with this victory. Okay, boy. Okay, their war against Rome. Excellent. So they they can probably move through and also it helped me in the war, which is excellent. So I got a another group of Celts that are trying to join. Border wash shrine. So now I have sanitation. Okay, this is still building up here. The leader has deteriorated well. Okay, my ratio is getting better here, so that's that's good. I mean, the decadence is not increasing. Okay, so these are my allies. And uh, let's look at this army here. Food use is seven. Forage value is seven, so I can move in with them if I wanted to. Okay, there's the other guy that moved in. That's the other army that I built. So let's look at the ledger here to make sure that I am population. It's still the same thing with trade goods. Regions overview. Okay, I can start building another building here. I don't know. this. I'll start building something else just to keep on going here. Uh, my infrastructure is plus 14, plus 14 on both. That's good. Regions, uh, food. I may have gotten some slaves too in this battle, probably did. Okay, military. The equipment is still there. I still have positive income. Manpower is growing slowly, so. I've used it up, but it is. <clears throat> the only thing I want to do is, what I'm eventually going to do with my army, uh, once I get a little break from the Romans, is I do want to convert these guys into heavy infantry, I think. Because they're just a lot more effective. I do want to uh, disband and then uh, recruit an infantry. I'm going to timely do it. I like... Uh, the heavy infantry better, I can deal better, and you know, use the light infantry. As long as I have cavalry, I can handle that, but this was a crushing victory over Robe, so I'm going to have to think things out. I mean, uh, let's just look at the diplomacy. What would Rome at this point? Oh, 24% chance of peace. So, okay, they are... They, they have been, okay, I guess there's some hippie movements of war protesters. They're getting upset here. So there's 24% chance. This is too early to sell. No, I want to, if I take one of their regions, they may. We are over relative combat power between you can't afford losing another region. We are fighting alone. Well, not, you have allies. Okay, that's. That's because I got allies. I'm even getting more allies. So if I take that region and get more allies, Rome may be willing to become a client state. I don't know. This is this last victory was just uh, tremendous. Let's look at Toronto. They're at war with Rome. Oh, good. I still have an offer available, I believe. 
Okay, so Toronto has declared war against Rome, so everybody's getting bold here. Okay, I've, I've given them some options so they still have time to answer. But they may go to war too. They, they, everybody may be ganging up on the Romans now. I mean, this. I guess this is a good feature in this bro. If you show some strength, uh, you can possibly... Yeah, the diplomacy is not bad as long as you show some strength here. I mean, I've seen some ridiculous things on other YouTuber channels, you know, about war declaration all that. But that makes sense. If the Romans get their asses whipped by Sinonis, you know, in this game, you're supposed to just take him out in the first turn. But they've lost a lot of legions, and this has just got to be killing them. Let's take a look at whatever intelligence I have on this. I mean, they do have manpower, but they can't just keep on recruiting, recruiting. I mean, eventually they're going to run out and lose. But uh, I'm going to have to think about attacking this place here. I maybe have an opportunity and then put an army right there and, and then just, you know, trade out the light units with heavy units over time and, and then just get prepared. I mean, I may be able to have an opportunity here. And with everybody else declaring war, possibly the Samnites, uh, these guys here, uh, Rome's got to worry now about, and just hope, you know, if they start, con I can just keep on, keep the pressure up up here, because now they got enemies in the south, obviously, so this is good. So let's look at legacy, let's look at the ledger, legacy, got 10 legacy points. Rome is at minus 90. I, I don't know how that happened. How can you get negative legacy? Is it just, is it because you lose leaders? I have excellent leaders. I get Kamenos. I, I do have good leadership here. So in five years, I've completely crippled the Roman army. And, like I said, I wanted to play the Sinonis, and I wanted to inflict some damage on Rome and possibly plunder it, so I may be... <laughs> I didn't think it was likely, but I think I may be on the way to doing that, so... So all I have to say is, Sinonis forever, Brennus' grandchildren are... The grandchildren of Brennus' generation are making a comeback here, so... And plus, got all these other Celtics you know, ready to join in, is Etruria still at war? I'm sure they are. Let's go to Etruria. Are they willing to cooperate? No, that's still. Well, they're not going to declare war, hardly, so. They're guarding up here in the north, so. They're at war with Rome, so I don't know why they just start moving the army down. Uh, this bully of the Italian peninsula has been given a real bloody nose, and it's time to attack. Okay, I think that's a good time to end this episode here of Field of Glory Empires. And I'm surviving as the Sonona, so... Okay, I do want to look at this here. Okay, the region is receiving... One slave after the battle at Rome has invaded our region. Well, they lost a lot of men, so. All right, so I'm going to have to think this out, what to do, either to maybe pursue and capture that ci that walled city. Uh, I think, yeah, I got a, like, four-to-one advantage strength-wise, so I think I'll be able to win this. All right, so until next time, thank you for watching.